Hi, recently we took a trip to Flathead Lake in Montana. It's about an hour north of Missoula. It's a gorgeous lake with state campgrounds all around it. Now we took a trip around the entire lake and went in and reviewed each and every campground. We did individual site reviews for you. There is a big difference. There's some you don't want to take a big rig into and others that are very nice, some that aren't quite as close to the lake as they would seem. And there is definitely one premium campground. So please see all the videos that I've done. Thank you and I hope this helps you. So now we're driving through Wayfair Campground, which is on the north east side of the lake. Number four looks very nice. Take some leveling. Pull through spot though. Number two is the camp host. Number five is a back end but not very deep. So you'd have to have a shorter unit for five. Number six is buried off in the trees but reasonable size I guess. Seven is another nice pull through. Eight is a shorter back in. Fairly level though. Nine is a back in reasonably deep. Ten is a fairly shallow back in quite shallow actually 11 is a fairly shallow back in too 13 is a pull through that doesn't look too bad and 12 is another very shallow back in on. 14 is fairly tight pull through not too bad but exposed to the road and 15 is a nice deep pull through but with a fair amount of slope to it and 16 is a back end but looks relatively deep and 17 is reasonably deep and well treated, so not a bad back end site. There's a few other sites at Wayfair is pretty much the same. These are the bathroom facilities that look fairly nice. These camp, this campground is quite similar to West Side in that it is a ways off the lake, period. But it does have a marina and a boat launch. Hi everyone, please, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel Travel with Rolar on YouTube. It really helps us out a lot. Appreciate it very much. If someone could show you how to save a lot of money while you're traveling, would you be interested? If someone sold you a booklet and they guaranteed you would save in the first year more than what the booklet cost you or they'd buy it back, would that interest you? It seems that it would, especially in this time of high inflation. And that's exactly what I do. I have a 30-page booklet that I'm selling. And the normal price is $14.99. If anybody orders it prior to February 27, 2023, I will discount it over 30% to $10. That includes shipping. And if you do not save at least the $10 you paid for it in the first year, which if you don't do it and then you're not using it, I will buy the booklet back from you. To give you an idea, I, we went on a, fifth, a trip that should have cost us almost $3,000. We paid less than $1,000 for everything. That was hotel, train, rental car, all of it. We just took a trip to Fort Collins and just in gasoline alone, we saved around $10 and our hotel, which is one of our least savings, smallest savings was around $20, but that's still $30 right there. Uh, there are times I'll save 80 to $100 a night on hotels. I showed my brother-in-law real recently how to save $150 on a plane ticket. 
So there's a lot of useful information in this. And again, if you do not save at least the amount of money in the first year that you pay for the book, I will buy it back. So please let me know. Go to Travel with Rollar, which is the name under which the video is posted. Travel with Rollar at yahoo.com. And you can order my 30 page booklet, and it covers hotels, planes, trains, rental cars, campgrounds, national monuments. Uh, gasoline, all of that shows you how to get discounts on, on all of those items. So I hope you'll, you'll order the booklet, and especially with the price guarantee. Again, thank you for watching our videos.